Hi, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the We Can EduTech channel where we make learning technology simple and fun. Recently, Canva released a suite of tools powered by artificial intelligence. Today we will look at one of those tools called Magic Design. So what exactly is it? Canva Magic Design will create designs such as posters or social media posts in seconds based on a single prompt from you. You can access Magic Design in two ways. First, you can go to the left menu and click on Magic Studio. There you see all the AI tools that Canva have to offer. So like for instance, Magic Design, Magic Design for presentations, Magic Write, and so on. Now, another way in which you could access Magic Design is just go straight from the homepage and then you could use the search bar and enter your prompt there. The prompt should include which platform, what you're designing and the purpose you're designing for. In our first example, we're going to create an Instagram post for grade two students to come to class on October 31st, dressed in their favorite Halloween costume. So I have stated that it's an Instagram post. I've given some details such as grade two students and it's on the October 31st. And the purpose is that my students to come into class dressed in their favorite Halloween costume on that day. So I'm going to type in the prompt in the search bar and then I'm going to click enter or return on the keyboard and magic design is going to do well. It's magic. So the AI is now going to provide some templates that we can choose from. So there's a few things to note. So the AI has given us some templates to use that has the correct dimensions that we will need for an Instagram post. It has the information there, grade two students, and it's Halloween costume party. So Magic Design is generating text that makes sense. So you're not starting from a random template with random text. So let's look at the options that Magic Design gave us. As you, you can click on the arrow on the far right there to get even more options. So you can go through and see, well, which one's best suit your purpose. Uh, I might just click on this one. So if you see a template there that you like, you click on it and then you see you can customize this template. It's 100% fully customizable. You can edit and download, share and publish. So let's customize this template. So for instance, I could change this from school admin. I could change that to Mr. Jason Matthew. So you know it's my class and I if I wanted I could change the fonts I could change the image everything is customizable there so it's just like a first draft that you could work on so let's return to the templates that we originally had so I'm just going to X off this one and let's say for instance I don't want to have it on Instagram or I also want, I want to have it on Instagram but I want to have it on something else you can easily try other social media so you just go on under the where there's filters, you go under category, you click category, you click social media, and there you have the Instagram post, but you could also customize it for Facebook. And let's say we wanted to make a Pinterest pin instead. So we click on Pinterest. And Magic Design is now going to generate some Pinterest pins on the same topic. And as you can see, Canva makes this note. This technology is new and improving, and you can report if these templates don't seem right I remember with AI, it's learning. So as Canva continues to train the artificial intelligence, it's going to get better at creating these templates for you. But as you can see now, Magic Design has created Pinterest pins on the same prompt that we have used. And it has this, the correct dimensions for a Pinterest pin. And similarly, you can use the arrow to, to look at the different options that you have. Now, Magic Design will create templates specifically based on the prompt you gave. But if you scroll down, you can also see other possible templates that other people have created that you can use as yours as well. Now, once again, you can choose one of the templates that Magic Design has created. You click on it and you can click customize this template and everything is fully customizable. I can switch out this image. I can change the font. I can change the text that is there. And once you're happy with it, you can just click on the share button. Then you go to download and you click the download button and it will download a copy of this to your computer. So then you can take that, that PNG file 
and upload it to your social media network. All right, I'm gonna click home now. And remember, all your designs are stored in Canva. So if you look, it has my two designs that I just created there. So I can always return to them and do further edits if I want. Okay, let's look at a second example. In this second example, I'm gonna create a poster for a Minecraft workshop teaching grade two students how to code. So I'm going to type in my prompt in the search bar and then click enter or return on the keyboard. And just like that, Magic Design has created some templates for us. Now if I look at this one, it says Minecraft workshop for grade two students. Learn how to code in a fun and interactive Minecraft environment with our experienced instructors. And then it has a uh, contact information. So you could add some more information there, like add some registration links, add some dates and so on. But as you can see, Canva is helping you a lot. So you're not starting from scratch. You, you have something to work with, which is awesome. Now with this, Canva is creating its own images for you. But sometimes you might have an image that you want Canva to use when generating these templates. So that you can do by clicking on media and then it gives you the option to drag and drop a file that you have there. So I have a Minecraft file image on my desktop. I just take it and I'm gonna drop it in here. And then Magic Design is going to use that image to create some posters for me. So as you can see, it has created some new templates and in all of them, it has incorporated the image that I supplied it with. Another thing that you can do is that maybe your department or school has specific colors that they use for all their media that is sent out. You could go under brand. And for me, I have my weekend editor colors there. So I could just click on this and say see results. And now you can see that Magic Design has added my brand colors to all the designs and I can choose one of them. And then you click on the template that you like, customize this template. And once again, this is just a draft. It's a start and then you could supply all the information, customize it to what you want it to be. And when you're finished, you click on share and you can download the poster and upload it to and share it wherever you, you would like to. So I'm gonna go back to home. And the third example we're gonna use is create an Instagram post with a wellness quote. So I'm gonna type in that prompt into the search bar, click enter, return on the keyboard, and let Magic Design do its thing. So you see you have several templates generated just for you that you can use and you can share on your Instagram feed. I'm hoping that by now you're getting loads of ideas just flooding that mind of yours. And please share those in the comment section so that we can learn from each other. There are different types of Canva accounts that you could be using. For me, I'm using a pro account, and with that, you get all the features of Canva. Now, there's a free version of Canva, but you have limited access to the AI tools that are in Canva Studio. So I will go to the FAQ page on Canva, and I'll put a link in the description below. And on this page, it answers a few questions. So if I scroll down a bit, what are the usage limits of Magic Design? So if you have a free account, you can use Magic Design 10 times. But if you have a professional or an education account, you don't have that limitation. And just in case you're curious, if you go to the plans and pricing, there's the Canva free account, which will cost no money. Then there's the pro account and there's Canva for teams. And these prices here are the, the annual price. But if you click on the monthly tab, you can see how much it costs a month. Now the good news is that if you are an educator in the K-12 system, you can actually get an education plan which has all the features of the pro account and it is free. It will be free for you and your students. So that's excellent news. So if you want to access that, you just have to go to the four teachers and schools tab and there it walks you through how the different steps on how to get this plan. The other thing I wanted to share with you all is that when you all are doing the prompts, now if, if you all are familiar with ChatGPT, you can give a very substantial prompt in ChatGPT where you could give context and so on. I find that when I'm using Canva, the character limit is about 140 characters. So you can't be as wordy as in ChatGPT, but you could get enough to Canva that it knows what to do for you. So let's talk about some uses for Canva design in education. First, it offers enhanced communication with students and parents. 
Teachers can use social media to connect with students and their parents by quickly generating visually appealing and informative social media posts. Educators can share updates on events such as guest speakers and workshops, assignments, projects, and other important information, fostering better communication. Professional development. Teachers can share their own professional development journey on social media, inspiring other educators and demonstrating their commitment to lifelong learning. Consistent branding. Schools and educational institutions often have branding guidelines that teachers should adhere to when creating materials. Canva Magic Design can ensure that all materials align with the school's branding by automatically applying the appropriate colors, fonts, and styles. Enhance visual communication skills. Students can use these AI tools to experiment with design and learn about the principles of visual communication. They can explore how different design choices impact the overall message and effectiveness of a piece. And then there's the real-world application. Students can learn how to use AI tools in a professional context. For example, graphic design and marketing students can explore how businesses use Canva Magic Design to create marketing materials. Canva design is fun and easy to use. It can create stunning designs in seconds. Please let us know in the comment section below how you are using Canva design. Please hit that like button if this video was useful and please support us by subscribing to our channel. Bye for now. Take care.